This is the most marvelous and tiny thing I've ever seen. Eight terabytes of space. Sabrent has put eight terabytes on this rocket drive. I know you're out there and you know you're out there. Every day looking at that ugly Windows wallpaper with the activate Windows, go to settings to activate Windows, little notification in the bottom right of your screen. You should really just go ahead and activate. I want to thank CD Key Sales for sponsoring this video. I've actually used them a few times to buy Windows 10 Pro keys, so it's pretty easy to recommend something that I've already used before in the past. And for you guys, if you use the coupon code TECH18, you can get an additional 18% off the price you see on the screen here. So Windows 10 Pro becomes $14. You can get Windows 10 Home, 12 bucks. The brand new version of Office 2019, well, it's 58 normally, but it'll be 48 if you use coupon code TECH18 to get Office 2016, which a lot of people still use. That's gonna come down to $28. Note these are OEM keys, which means they are bound to your motherboard if you change your motherboard, you may need to contact Microsoft and have them reactivate this same serial number. So let's show you how to activate Windows. What you need to do is come over here. I'm going to go ahead and buy one because I can always use like another one. Here's what we're going to do. Just come over here and you can add as many as you'd like to your card. Hit buy now and the code even works for me. And submit my order. All right, just moments after you make that order. Actually, this took about 15 seconds for me. You can come over here to click on this and click on user center. And then on the left, you'll be able to click on My Purchase Orders, and it'll have a list of all your different orders. So I can go ahead and view my codes right here by clicking on this. And once you get to this page, just go ahead and highlight this and copy your key. Copy, copy, copy. And then you're going to hit Start and type Activate, and you'll see Activation Settings coming up right there. Click on Activation Settings, and then you can change your product key. So go ahead and enter that in. And then when you click Next, it's going to activate. And then you can go ahead and change your wallpaper, like this screenshot I took of my Oblivion game. And again, thanks to cdkeysales.com for sponsoring this video. And now to our regularly scheduled program. This is the Rocket MVME 8 terabyte. It's the Rocket Q, actually. And this thing is ridiculously stacked. It's only 2280. It's a standard, you know, your standard form factor. Some people call it a stick of gum. I hate that term because gum is silly. I don't like gum. I also have the 2 terabyte and the 4 terabyte to look at, but in this video, I'm going to focus just on this 8 terabyte because it's special. It's new, it's ridiculous, it's expensive, and none of this would matter if it wasn't fast. I'm going to tell you right now off the bat, it is fast. So this is using Micron's quadruple level uh, flash, and uh, that's pretty much what you're going to have to have in order to get this much storage into something that's this small using the E125 controller. And we'll show you how fast that is in a second. But first off, the advertised speeds at 3300 on the read and 2900 on the right. The advertised IOPS, pretty high, 5500K on the read and 6800K on the right. Also want to note that there's a five-year warranty with this. In order to take advantage of that, you do need to uh, head over to Severance website and register this drive. And while you're there, you can grab a copy of a Kronos, which you're gonna get for free with this. It's like a $30 value. I'll be doing a video very soon showing you how to move all your data from one computer or one hard drive, one M.2 to this or another one of the Sabrent drives using the Acrona software suite. So that way you can get everything moved over without having to worry about reinstalling Windows and stuff. But that'll be coming up soon. Right now we're just focus focusing on this. And as far as the life of this drive, they uh, say that you should be able to get 1.8 petabytes of writes with this. That means you can write 986 gigabytes of data every day to this drive, or it's about like rewriting this entire eight terabyte drive almost once a week, but close enough. So, so yeah, imagine trying to rewrite this entire thing every week. If you're working on like a Hollywood movie with a ton of rod footage, maybe that's going to be the case. But for a lot of us, even people working in the creative fields, you're not even going to get anywhere close to that, so I really wouldn't worry about any of that. But really, this, this drive is expensive. It's like 1400 bucks right now at the time of making this video, but it's always going to change. So what I've done is right in the top of the description, you'll see a link where you can go click and uh, check on the prices at the time that you're watching the video. All right, so I don't actually have another 8 terabyte drive because there's not another 8 terabyte M.2, and I'm not going to compare this to a Seagate Iron Wolf or some sort of a spinning hard drive. So I'm going to have to compare this to the next best thing that I have, which is a PCI Express Gen 3x4 2 terabyte drive from Mushkin. And I do like this drive. It's a great drive for the money. Um, and as we can see here in the AS SSD benchmark test, um, we're getting a much better score with the 8 terabyte Sabrent Rocket Cube. I mean, the sequentials are better, especially when it comes to the write. The sequentials are almost twice as nice, which is ridiculous, and I cannot wait to move 
um, the game that we're working on over to this drive so we can do Unreal Engine right here as opposed to doing it on, I'm doing it on the Mushkin right now. But yeah, I'm going to put it right here because twice as fast on the right, that's going to be a very big deal. Plus just the randoms, as you can see, are way faster. And even the access time is cut down compared to what I'm used to. It's like almost double on the read as far as the access time goes. It's really... When you get into the, like, the milliseconds like this, it's not going to be that big of a deal, but still, it's just faster all the way around, which I love. And as you can see, we're actually getting um, we're getting a little bit more. If you look at the 4K there, right here, we're actually getting more than they advertise when it comes to the IOPS. So I'm very pleased with the performance of this drive in AS SSD benchmark. Let's move on and take a look at just some raw speeds with Atto. And as you can see here, it's a similar story. Uh, twice as fast on the right, and a lot of that's because this is a huge drive and you get a little bonus there. Uh, but it's also quite a bit faster on the read on, on both categories. Actually, it's a lot faster than I expected. So really, really up there at the top when it comes to PCI Express Gen 3x4. All right, moving on to Crystal Disk Mark. And uh, this is Crystal Disk Mark 7. You can see, again, pretty much the same story. Really good on the read and the write. And uh, again, about twice what I... It's like you have something and you're happy with it and then something else comes along and you're like, but I was happy. Also did Pask Mark and just did their Disk Mark suite of tests. And you can see the scores right here on the, sc on the screen. Let's take a look at the temperatures. I actually expected this to run a little hotter because when you cram this much into a tiny space, I just assumed it would be hot. Plus, there's not a heat sink on top of this. It is what it is. And I didn't put a heat sink on top of there. But if you do put a heat sink on top of this, it should run a little cooler. From my experience, usually when I add one of these to an M.2, it gives me a few extra degrees. But as we can already see, it's idling at 26 degrees as opposed to the Mushkin that idles at 35. So both of those are still pretty good but then get this during a write test you know I, I waited to the most stressful part of the write test and then checked the temperatures 49 which had me kind of scratching my head whereas you can see the mushkin gets up to 62 which is completely reasonable but 49 is very cool so there you have it it's ridiculous it's fast it's i'll get my gripe out right now i wish it was pci express gen 4x4 that would be like the best thing i've ever seen that's only going to be a small piece of the market but i think for the you know the creative people and stuff out there a lot of them are going to fall into that category where they would be able to take advantage of the extreme speeds of pci express 4 as opposed to pci express 3 this is one of the faster pci express gen uh, three by four M.2 that I've seen. So not a huge complaint. Other than that, you're paying, uh, you're going to pay for this, right? You're going to pay 1500 bucks because this is not a budget part. This is eight terabytes for serious creative people who are doing serious things and need a lot of storage. So this is for somebody who needs really fast storage and also needs a lot of it. So, you know, you know who you are, you know, this is going to be like the thing. So go ahead and grab it, right? Also, head over to epicpants.com. Grab yourself a t-shirt. This is our fine Einstein ASCII art design. And while you're over there, grab a mouse and a mouse pad. Highly rated by decent individuals who rated things from the ratings board. Yes. I'll see you guys in the comments, and I like to end in an upward inflection. Look at the idle temperatures. And I... <laughs>